Hi, welcome to Less Boring in Lockdown. There's a huge amount of us across the UK and around the world that are going to be stuck indoors over Christmas. We're not going to be able to see our family, it might get a little bit boring. So we've made a few videos to help with that. So click the subscribe button, sit back and let's have some fun. Using acrylic paint, put on the first layer, leave it to dry for about half an hour, then put on your second layer. And once that's done, leave it overnight. And when it's fully dried, put it in the oven, in a cold oven. Switch the oven on to 175 degrees Celsius or 350 Fahrenheit. Let it heat up. And once it's at that temperature, cook it for 30 minutes, switch the oven off, and let it cool down completely, take it out, done. For the distress style jars, just go through the same steps as we did do when we did the white jar. Get a sandpaper or a sandpaper block, just sandpaper off the words around the top and around down the corners as well to make it look distressed bit of twine or string around the top and you've got a great looking vase time to make a cool christmas light you need a glass jar we're going to need some epsom salts and we're going to need some pva glue now go with a craft pva glue because you do want it to dry so there's a bit of a colour underneath it so it doesn't dry clear. Okay, here we are. White painted jar now. Spray paint. Going with the gold because it's Christmas. Make something cool. This half glitter jar is gorgeous. So let's start by putting some masking tape on. The bottom of the masking tape is up to the top of the line of where the glitter is going to come. So cover it with glue, make sure you get a nice thick layer. Sprinkle on some sparkles, take your time to get a really good thick covering here. Now once the glue is dried, carefully take off the masking tape that's it I did say careful and now the glitter's done and you can just pop anything you like in it pens utensils so this one's a great way to use any bottles you've got lying around the house simply cover your bottle with some glue We're using the craft one again so there's a bit of a color on the base a really good covering of the glue all over the bottle choose your sparkles color nice silver one for this one make sure you get a really thick layering of it tap off any of the extra let it dry and hey presto a really lovely bottle 